Hey guys, Ravi here from IraFX. I love making visual effects and animations that you find in featured films and uh, I'll be making tutorials to each video I make. So, today we are going to learn how to do this effect. This is Harry Potter walkthrough wall effect and this is a beginner's tutorial considering the fact that you know how to use Adobe After Effects. So let's get started. Let us first divide this tutorial into three steps. Step 1 shooting the scene, step 2 splitting the shot and step 3 adding effects. In the first step all you have to do is shoot a video something like this. Place your camera on a tripod and act as if you are entering into the wall. Something similar to the Harry Potter platform number 9 3x4. Make sure that you have a clean plate of the background as well. In the second step, drag this video onto the small icon here so that you create a new composition. Now in order to have a plain background, we have to duplicate this layer by clicking edit duplicate layer. Also right click on it and freeze frame by clicking time freeze frame. Now you can rename it as background. Select the top layer and go to the point or go to the frame where you are ex exactly running into the wall. Select that appropriate frame and click on edit split layer. Now right click on this layer and click on time freeze frame. Now you will have this particular frame freezed. This is the layer to which we apply FX so you can rename it to FX layer. Now we will have to mask our character. So click on this layer and select the pen tool and make sure you clearly mask the character. Masking the character does not have to be really perfect but make sure you have a clear outline of the character. Once the character is masked you may now notice that the outline of our character is really sharp. So select the mask layer and click on this time icon here so that uh, you can you will be creating a keyframe and set the value to 20 and you can also feather the character a little bit so that the shadows are visible and it looks natural. Now go a couple of frames forward and set the mask expansion to negative 15 so that your character gets shrinked. Once that is done go a couple of frames forward just around 2 or 3 and decrease the mask expansion so that the character is completely shrinked. You may notice that the character is getting shrinked but in order to have the character shrinked into the wall select the layer click on position and go to the first frame and click on this timer icon here so that you create a keyframe and go a couple of frames forward and uh, move the character a little bit so that now you can feel that the character is shrinking into the wall Let us see how it looks. Yes, the effect is done. In order to have a clear picture of this tutorial, you can download this project file from my website. If you are looking for more visual effects, consider subscribing to my channel or you can also follow me on Instagram at VFXGuyRavi. See you next time with another tutorial.